because it is the first of the month. So depending on when you watch this, if you're catching it on a replay or you're catching it live, you may be wondering, well, where the heck are you? I am actually in Paige's home classroom, um, but I, I was about to sit down and do some planning. So I figured it would probably be a good idea because we had started this planning journey, I want to say in August or September. It might have been August or September. And it has shifted a bit from, um, hey, 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 Uncle Greg, what are you doing over there? Let me see, where are we going to put you guys? Where should we put the comments today? We'll put your comments over here. If you are watching me live and you have not said hello, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and type in hello and where you are watching from so that I can say good morning to you. I cannot believe we are in November, but that's where we are. Um, so I wanted to come on here to kind of go, I gotta bring you down a little bit cause I can't, I can't do the comments if, or I can't, whatever, you're, you're there now. Um, and so I figured this would be a really good broadcast at the start of the month. It's a great time to plan out what it is that we are doing or what we hope to accomplish and all of that. And you know, my biggest thing is an overnight success typically takes about 10 years, but normally you don't find out about it until the night before. But in order to get to that success, you gotta do a little bit of planning and I have been struggling with it. Hello, Charlie from Houston, the beautiful Shannon Griffin. Um, from California, very good to see you as well. So I got a couple of things set up here. Number one, this is, I'm gonna introduce you to our homeschooling studio. This is where Paige does her schoolwork, where mom kind of pulls her hair out, like, oh my gosh, I've already done first grade, why am I doing this again, kind of thing. Big Duke from Baltimore, welcome to the broadcast and thank you for checking in. How many of you use planners? That's what I'm curious about. Do you currently use some kind of planner, whether that be post-it notes, whether that be a calendar, whether it be just a piece of paper, or do you keep it all kind of jiggling up here in your head? Which one is it? Do you do an actual planner or is it in your head? I'm curious while you all, how is that going for you? Oh. I think I am more interested in getting the things for planning than the actual planning, if I'm being 100% honest. I, I, what you are looking at here is a three-tiered thingamabobber for all things planning. And thingamabobber is a, an actual word that we're, we're making it a word, right? So all of this has my stickers. It even, I even got paper in my head, post-it notes, but I need a planner. I even got this new thing. I haven't even taken it out where I can make my own kind of things. I am old school Franken planner. Okay, good to know. Um, Big Duke says calendar in his head. Charlie says post-it notes, but I'm thinking it says, but I need a planner. Paper in your head says Shannon. And then Chris from Pampered Sister S Sisters, with the most amazing skincare products. It says she uses the old school Franken planner. Now I have attempted to do the Franken planner and I'm going to take you down to my planner cause we're gonna make it pretty and fancy and all that, which is probably why I am struggling with keeping up with it because I spend so much time trying to make it pretty. I don't necessarily wanna write in it. Um, there are three things that I, or three planners that I've been using. Hey, 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 Dr. Tachi, how are you? Um, oh, and by the way, if any of you would like to join me on camera, um, I do have, where are you guys? I do have, right here. If you want to join me, go right to this link right here, livesoapschool.com forward slash join live. If you go there, I'll be able to bring you on camera with me and we can talk all things planner or you can continue to type it in the chat. Either way, either way is fine with me. All right, and you can do that from a phone or a website. So I have three planners that I am using currently. One of them is a happy planner. 
The other one is a goal planner. And the third one is a budget planner. Now, if my signal starts to act weird, can one of you let me know? Because I may, if I'm going to have you guys on for interview, I may need to hardwire in. Because it looks like I'm getting a little bit of a stutter. A little bit of a sp 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 sputter. Let me see. Okay, cool. Ba 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 ba. Where in the world? I gotta find. You gotta go to your own page to actually see what it is that you posted, right? Okay, it looks pretty good. All right. So as long as I don't see it. Good morning, Montana. Very good to see you. All right, I've gotten off track. So let's get back on it. Get down on it. You got to get down on it. All right. So we have a happy planner, which is this one here. And I went all fancy dancy with the happy planner. This is my happy planner, but I got this tool cover on there, which is actually a charger for your cell phone on the cover. So I can charge my cell phone while I'm sitting there somewhere just from the cover of this. But the Happy Planner on the inside, uh-oh, gonna lose my stickers. Um, it has a cover and then it has the different months. We'll look at them in a second. I just wanna show you all of them at one time. Additionally, I have a goal planner right here. Um, and this is, it's an undated planner, which is always exciting. It's an 18 month planner, so you can kind of see your goals over time. That's the thought process. Don't necessarily know if that's how we're going to use it. I will tell you that I planned for September, completely skipped October, and here we are on November the 1st. So I'm trying to get back on that horse, right? And then the last one, I still have the little thing on here. This is a budget planner from Clever Fox. So I have three different planners to try and do all the things that I'm supposed to do or that I'm thinking in my head I need to do in order to achieve my goals. Well, hello there, Elin. Prayers to you and your family, my dear. Very good to see you. Howdy, howdy. Um, so Chris mentioned that she does old school Franken planning. And the idea behind, well, my interpretation of what a Franken plan is, is you bring multiple planners into one. So instead of having three different books, you have them all within one planner. So there would be a section for wellness. There would be a section for work life, home life, another section for budgeting, another section for whatever area you need to plan for in your life. That's the idea of Franken planning. I tried that. The problem was I would start putting everything in one section of the planner and then I would have some empty sections and feel like I needed to fill those up. The What I have done, however, is I now have two sections in my main planner and I am going to add a camera here. Do, 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 do. Hey, Natasha. Okay. Are you all able to see that? Okay. Um, I'm not going to show you my plans for October, but I, I will show you that I have two separate sections. Um, this main section is my everyday kind of thing going on. Let me get rid of that there. So this is, I have three months of that in there. And I think I can show you some of November. So this has what's known as a dashboard layout. And this is from the Happy Planner family, guys. So in the dashboard layout, you can, um, each day is kind of like in a box. And then you can customize how that box appears um, with stickers or different elements that make it fancy, like these things right back here, or this huge bin of stickers that I have behind me. So the first thing is the happy planner. So I have this first section that has like all of my appointments, all of the um, projects that are due, um, when I'm shipping stuff out, all of that would go here in my day to day. And this is the first thing that I will look at in the morning when I come downstairs. So if we then go to November for the second section, and I, I do have a divider in here that shows me, this is what I use for my content calendar. 
my social media. When am I going to go live? What am I going to post when I go live? So that is what this section here is for. That's this second section that we use for goal planning. Now this layout is a little bit different from the last. I hate, I, I, don't, I don't like talking like that here. Let's do a picture in picture. Not like that. Do that. Bam. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over here. Ah, ah. Oh, my picture in picture is the wrong shape. Darn it. Here, let's come here. We're gonna we're gonna slide to the right. Slide to the live. Everybody clap your hands. Alright, we're gonna change that to a square. Nope. Don't like that either. We're gonna change that to wide there we go much love much respect right back to ya you for sight thank you for joining us live we're talking about planning and trying to get some things organized so what we're talking about now is how i use this calendar which is the main planner system that i use and we're going to take some time today to decorate it because we're fancy so that's the main thing. We use one half for our social media planning that now includes Amazon. Guys, I am an Amazon influencer. If you have not visited my Amazon store, um, you can most definitely do so. I will put that in the link. Um, I live stream on there. So when you all are watching me do um, the hot pot, which will, my hot pot is coming on Wednesday. Sorry, we are digressing for our YouTube people who like me to stay on track. I'm sorry, that's not the way these broadcasts run. That is not the way they run. Um, but my hot pot is coming on Wednesday. So we will be doing a live stream making hot pot at home because of the pandemic. If any of you know anything about me, um, I would go to the hot pot restaurant at least once a week. And I have not been able to do that because you have to have six feet of um, personal space and none of the restaurants that I usually go to have that available. Hey, 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 no worries. Marlene, I need you. I am teaching, I need some, um, some supplies. I am teaching three soap making classes and I need those little amber bottles. I don't know if you still have them. But back to the planner situation, guys, because we're all about planning. I don't want you all to wait for January 2021 to start living your best life. You can start planning that out now um, by just doing little by little, a little bit at a time. Yes, good morning, Kitchen Diva, Hot Pot at Home Live. I'm there. Well, we're going to be doing it live on Amazon. Oh, you know, I'll multi-stream. Let's be honest. I'm not loyal to one platform. I go, I go wherever, right? Okay, so I'm getting off track. So we are going to plan out, or we're going to make it pretty. We are going to make it pretty in terms of adding stickers here and then putting some key milestones because we know that every Sunday in November is what? Hashtag Super Soap Sunday. So we might as well plan that out. We know that every Wednesday we're going to be doing some kind of cooking. And we know that every Saturday is what? Soap Shipping Saturday. So I'll be able to put those on here and then plan backwards for what I'm posting on social media, whether that be a Facebook post, whether that be a LinkedIn post for the virtual um, planning company, all of that. So that's the happy planner. Marlene, hey Porgy, welcome back. Good to see you from yesterday. We didn't scare you completely away. Okay guys, let me let me switch cameras really quickly. Here, let me let me let me forewarn you about this planner nation. It's addictive. Like um, Marlene is a soap maker, Chris is a soap maker, Elin is a soap maker. All of them are soap makers, and it starts out with, oh, I'm just going to get a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of olive oil, some lye, some water, maybe a color or two, and maybe a couple of fragrances. We now have complete rooms that have taken over our house. I will tell you, the same has happened with the planner. This is a three-tiered system for all of the supplies I have purchased with the planner. Let my hindsight be your forewarning on whether or not you should just dip a toe or fall all the way in because I have fallen all the way in. We have Michael's trips 
Darn it. I got to plug you in. Hold on, guys. We have Michael's trips for everything. All bases covered. Thank you so much for checking you for sight. I am going to play a short intermission video because I got to go get a plug. I don't know why I don't do it normally, but that's what happens when you get out of practice. One second, guys. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for this break. We've got a new soap. Woo! Okay, we are saved, guys. I found the charger, but if you want to see that video, I'll play it at the end. That's the reason to come back and watch the replay. And Natasha is saying, too late, Zakia. I am already addicted. Hashtag LOL. The planner life did not choose me. I didn't choose the planner life. The planner life chose me. Marlene is saying, I need to watch myself, but I might have to dip. Dip, baby, dip. Come on now, dip, baby, dip. Slide, slide. I don't know how many y'all. To the left, to the left. All right, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so what's in here are several um, sticker books. And these sticker books are what we are going to use to decorate the inside of the Happy Planner. Now, let's move over to our um, goal planner. Now, I do like the goal planner. Hello, Frasier Ramsey. You're looking good too, sir. Very happy to have you here. Krista, planner life is off the chain. I'm so sick. Krista, you know, I'm not lying. I'm not telling a story to any of you. It is a serious, serious situation. All right. So here, it, and I got this one from Michaels. This isn't, now the reason I like this one is it's an 18 month undated planner. And why that was so important to me is I wanted to be able to, let me see when my picture can make up. That's not what I want. I wanted to be able, why won't you do it? Nope, it won't do it. Come on, Gina. You create those planners or pre-bought. Well, if I created these, Frasier, we would be on a whole, no, I pre-bought them. Okay, I'm trying to cover up our little hole that we have here. All right, there we go. So the goal planner is an 18-month undated planner. Um, wow, you have a globe. You hardly see globes anymore. That is for teaching um, Paige about the world we live in, like the different waters, the different continents, um, the equator, uh, different oceans all of that is there it's home school this is what I, this is what my first grade looked like except there was no tv in the well yes there was off track once again so let's talk about the goal planner um there are some that i'm not going to be able to show you because goals are personal you don't need to share that with the world or whoever's watching your live stream but what i like about this one in particular i was holding off on doing my vision board the actual vision board until 2021 right and so this goal planner actually has a space in here for you to do your vision board let me see there is also i kind of want to cover what's in here because it's like it ain't none of your business hold on let me cover it let me cover the actual content and i could tell you about it all right so what it has is a goal evaluation page and you list your top five goals here and then you break down those goals into physical oh, physical health career finance relationship and skills so all of those are then broken down and then you decide 
the importance of them because physical may not be as important as career. Now, let me tell you something. If your physical isn't as important as your career, you're probably not going to last very long in your career because guess what? If you're not healthy, ain't nothing else going to work. So you better figure that part out. Okay. I can show you this one. So as you can see, I started this one in September, did absolutely nothing in October. Going back to what um, Kita said in terms of how's that working for you? So my goals for September were to establish routines. Remember, we were going into 100% um, virtual school, 100% working for myself as a business owner. Um, the cooking, the cleaning, the the getting outside, not staying in the house so much. All of that was brand new for September. The way that we typically live was changing overnight. So we were establishing routines. I wanted to increase my water intake to 80 ounces of water daily. I also wanted to create a budget because um, there was no reason for me not to have as much money possibly saved, bills paid on time, all of that. So I wanted to make sure that I created a budget and stuck to it. I wanted to complete all of the business classes that I had signed up for or became a part of from either the Small Business Association or Community Finance Company. So that was a big goal for September because I was putting the structure around the corporation that I am building. And then also I wanted to read four books they were the goals that I set out for myself. And to make reading the four books possible, two of them were audio books. So as I was washing and cooking and cleaning and all of that stuff, I would be listening to the audio books. And then at night, I would read maybe two or three chapters before going to sleep. So the night, what I like about the layout of this in particular is that you're able to then see what were the goals that you set out for yourself month over month over month? This month will definitely be a whole lot more in terms of business driven. Like what are those goals that I'm attempting to close the year out for? Because there's two more months left in the year. So what do I need to do in order to enter 2021 as strong as possible? So that's what that is. Um, and then you can plan out short term and I'm going to cover that again because it's none of y'all business. But the thing I like about it is you can plan out what your short term goals are. Write it out more descriptive. Like how am I going to feel after I achieve that particular goal? And then the long term goal is things that take longer than three months for you to achieve. And the beauty of it is remember smart goals are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. So the deadline tells you when do I want to achieve this by and then you can outline what kind of reward you're going to give yourself for that particular um, achievement. This does come with additional stickers. So as you are planning things out, you have short term goals, goal achieved. As you can see, I used one of them. So I achieved a couple. Well, one of my goals that I had set for myself in September, it was achieved. But you have these, a goal deadline, and then fillable ones that you can fill out. There's also additional stickers that you can use that come in the planner. So you don't have to go all gung-ho and buy a bunch of sticker books. A lot of the planners will come with some stickers to get you started um, and not overwhelmed because I'm going to talk about that too. Remember, because this is an undated planner, you then have to fill out the months. So it has those months for you. You can have some emojis on there. Um, congratulate, congratulate yourself on how well you've done and all of that. So I'm not going to go into that month, but we're going to show you what it looks like when you start a new month. So for November, we would put the November sticker up there. So let's grab a November sticker. We want... October, November, right there. So we're gonna put November right at the top, bam, right? And then you have a habit tracker. So remember, I said one of my habits that I was, tra where's my real pen? One of the habits I was tracking is water intake. 
Another one that I was tracking was budget, adhering to the budget. So I'm just going to put those two habits. And then you have Monday through Sunday on here. So for the first week, what were those habits? Now, save yourself some agony. Don't try and create 20 different habits. Do one or two, make that a habit, make it a routine, and then add on additional ones. And then as you are tracking whether or not you've completed that habit, you can check them off for each day of the week. Then you look back and see how well did you do or where can you do better? Never where you failed. Failure is not a thing. And then you have your goals. So there's five goals that you can set up for the month. And so right here in goal one, you can say what the overall goal is. Is that under finance? Is that under career? Is that under wellness? Um, any overarching categories. And then what are the small steps that you're going to do to get to achieve that particular goal? And that's for all five weeks of the month. Then you have a calendar that you can fill out here. I typically don't use this calendar, but if there are certain things that you want to do or milestones that you want to capture for the month, then you can put your November sticker here. And then I typically just write the numbers. Some people will get fancy and get stickers, but luckily we know that the first starts on a Sunday. And then I'll just start putting those numbers there. So I can tell you, I have two goals that we will be achieving this week. Number one is I will be producing um, an alumni virtual event. So when that is achieved, because that's a milestone, ideally in October, there would have been small things that I did and captured that would lead to achieving this milestone. So are you all still there? I see that we have 49 people that are watching, but I don't know that my comments are working or you're just paying attention to what I'm saying. If you're paying attention, that's cool too. Um, let me see, there's, hey, you create, Scotland, LOL. What did I call you? Okay, so Frazier is there. Dorothea, okay, yep, okay. So I didn't miss anything, perfect. So, and then you can plan out day by day what you're going to do. And then at the end, hi Tanisha, at the end, what you can do is you do a monthly refle reflection. So what were the victories? What were those things that you did really well? Like, man, I was kicking it out the park when it came to drinking my water. Or you know what? We did have four home cooked meals instead of three, all of that. Oh, Miss T! Good to see you. Okay, paying attention. Teach Paige about Scotland with the globe. I certainly, oh, well, look, you guys can't see the comments. All right, we're here. Okay, I was just making sure that, you, you know how sometimes it just doesn't work. So I'm glad you all are here and hopefully this is helpful. So there's the victories part. So things that you did really well this particular month. And then the challenges, the things that you want to try and do better next month. So I didn't take my vitamins as much as I would have liked to. I didn't get out um, for walks as much as I would like to because I allowed my schedule to get so packed that by the time it was a chance for us to walk, it was either raining or late in the day. So I will make sure that I prioritize my walks earlier in the day before something gets a chance. So knowing those challenges, you can start to think in your mind, how can I do this differently or better? So this is the goal planner. And then the last one that I am attempting to incorporate is this new one from Clever, F Clever Fox. It is a budget planner, undated again. Um, it has monthly budgets, monthly calendars, expense tracker, debt tracker, savings tracker, um, a regular bill tracker, a pocket to hold your bills, and it lasts for up to 12 months. So I got to skip past. So each month, and I, I really like this is very similar where at the beginning, it allows you to outline, okay, why do I even care about planning? Why do I even want to take the time to do this? Well, you can set some goals for yourself. There's a mind map too. So maybe um, I'm saving to open that store 
right? Or maybe I'm saving to um, get a trademark or maybe I want to move to an island in four years. That's not a that's not a pipe dream. That's a real kind of thing. So a, how, what am I doing this budgeting for in this financial planning for? Um, and that's what you would use in this mind map. Then you have strategies. And then you also have tactics. Now, a strategy, it makes you a more efficient thinker and not just be so scattered. As you can see, we have like paint and everything else, whatever. Um, so what are your strategies? So in order to achieve some of those things, what are some of the skills you need to learn in order to achieve it? Do you have every single thing that you need in order to be able to do all of the things that you're saying you want to do financially? Um, my money affirmations for wealth and prosperity. I had a hard time believing this, but there is this whole mindset around finances. And one of those things is, um, how many times did you hear as a kid, money doesn't grow on trees, money doesn't grow on trees, or you have to work hard to earn money they become belief systems that you then continue to subconsciously recreate and make true. Um, so how can you retrain your brain with new money affirmations for what it is that you want to achieve? So you can put those here. What actions will you take to earn more money? So it's nice to have a plan, but you know, plans without work, and I am horrible at quoting a, a Bible scripture, but all my Bible people know which one I'm talking about. And you learn, you really learn what your priorities truly are and what you care about. Very true. Oh, that's Miss T, Miss T. Hey, lady. And then what actions will you take to cut expenses? It doesn't matter if you keep earning more and more and more money if you keep spending more and more and more money. So this allows you to get really clear and honest with yourself on what it is that you want to work on and um, what you will do to achieve those things. Hey, hey, lady. And additionally, there are this month's goals, a checklist, what income you have, what savings you have, and then again, undated calendar so you can put all of the actions or when money came in, when bills were going out, when you paid for things in your business versus home, um, all of that. Then you also have a page for a monthly budget, which allows you to say, what am I allocating for the home, personal, food, transportation, healthcare, entertainment, loans, if you have credit cards or mortgages, car notes, student loans, any of that. Other and then the, the eye-opening part becomes at the bottom of the month, how much did you budget? How much did you actually spend and what's the difference? And the goal in this difference is for that to be in the green, in the positive, meaning I under, no, I underspent and there was a whole lot of money left over. Then there is an expense tracker as well. So every day, um, you can't know where your money is going if you don't track it somehow. So if you want to do it electronically, you can do that. If you want to do it on a paper and pen, you can do it that way. So this gives you space to track all of those expenses. I don't care if you're buying a pack of gum or you're buying a car. You are putting those expenses here and categorizing them. So at the end of the month, you can look back and see what is it that you spent your money on and, um, and then how it fits into the categories that you budget it for. Very important. You need that one, but with happy planner rings. So what I'm going to try and, oh, so here is just, let me finish this one and then I'm going to say something about that. So the monthly budget review is where you get to say, okay, what was my balance from last month in my account? How much income came in? How much money did we spend in expenses? What's the difference? What's our total savings now? And what's the balance going forward? And so my biggest wins this month, I didn't spend a whole lot on fast food. However, I spent a whole lot more on kitchen appliances. So it was kind of a wash there. But going forward, we should see some savings, right? Did I meet the budget? And if not, why not? 
it's really a chance for you to sit back and think, why didn't I do what I thought I was going to do? Did I achieve, did I achieve this month's goals? And what did you learn this month? Like I just, it's not even that I had to go to a fast food restaurant. It was just that I have a habit of going this particular way, right? Um, and I will do this within one month to improve. So what is your action plan to get better at that thing? And then there's a pocket in here for you to put your receipts and your bills. So at the end of the month, you can go through and say, well, did I capture that? Or maybe you just didn't have a chance to write it down. Having it in here is a way for you to reframe. So they are the three planners that I have decided because I tried to do the Franken planning thing. It did not work for me because I found myself staying in one particular section. Right, so we now have our goal planner, which I will do on my own. I'm going to do the fun part with all of you, which is grab some stickers and make this interesting to look at. So speaking of stickers, let me bring this back up. Speaking of stickers, there are a ton, a ton, a ton. I think there's over 250 different happy planner stickers. There is also, a new one that I found, which comes from a company called This Is Us, which is there. I have two windows open, one with you educating me on the planner, one looking for a planner. Lord, <laughs> that's no good. But listen, um, here is the most critical thing for whatever planner you go for. Figuring out how you want to write because, okay, now we gonna, now I'm going to show you. Before you get one, Marlene, I will give you one because I have so many and I need to I need to not have so many. So, let me show you. Um so the planners come in different layouts, which is the hardest thing. So this, let me bring you back this way. Okay, so this would be in the happy planner realm. This would be considered a classic planner and you know it's a class this one's missing one of the rings because it has nine rings one two three four five six seven eight nine waiting on mine to arrive fedex lost it dear gosh all right so when you open them let me go to where i know so you get a you get a monthly calendar with the dates on there but then this one in particular has a dashboard layout so that means one page is somewhere for the week where you can fill in the errands to buy, calls, bills to pay, focus. The interesting thing is as a, pl a happy planner, these don't have to remain that. They can be something else. So if you wanna change this to um, books I'm reading, you just put a new sticker on top of it and that category now becomes books I'm reading. Um, a lot of people will put their meals that they're planning to cook for the week here and then their appointments. But what I want you to pay attention to is the dashboard layout. That means every week, this is how your layout is going to appear. Conversely, this is another one. And this one is considered, what is this? Data planner. I don't even know what this one is considered. I'm going to just maybe say it's a vertical planner. So this one is a vertical planner, meaning it goes all the way across. Or is this horizontal? Vertical is north and south, horizontal. So this goes straight across. The layouts are vertical, horizontal, dashboard, and now the good habit. See, it's just so much, it's so much. So this one here, it goes straight across, which means you have a pretty small spot. And what I was doing was, I was tracking like my water intake. Do I have my actual? Okay, so I I personally would not choose this one as your daily. This is horizontal, yeah. I wouldn't choose horizontal unless you plan going left to right that way for a particular day. Additionally, and there's more. And there's more, god darn it. Which one is this? And this one. <laughs> There is another one. This would be the vertical planner where the days of the week are going up and down like this. So your Monday, and a lot of people will do this for morning, afternoon, evening. 
morning, afternoon, evening, or different categories of what they want to track for the day. So the first thing that you want to figure out is what kind of layout do you want to use? Do you want to plan your day in sections like this? Do you want to plan in a horizontal way for everything you have to do on Monday going across the top? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Or do you want to do a dashboard where you don't have that many appointments? That's why I chose the dash. I love the dashboard. I'm a little bit biased. Um, but you want to do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that way. And then you kind of have like a, a place on the side to get creative with what it is. Right. Um, and then there's the habit one. So this, I actually transform my habit one into a social media one. So this one was, I think, I don't know what kind of planner this was actually. It was a mistake. I just got it because I liked the cover and then I made it into this planner. But what I do is I put a sticker over intention, nourish, movement, and take note. And I change these to Facebook um, or I'll put it um, social media posts, website posts, live stream, podcasts. And then across the week, that's what I will do for those. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll show you in a second. Um, but that's how I use this particularly for my content calendar um, because I'm not going to remember to write. Now, if this is important to you, there's another planner. You, <laughs> There's another one you can get, and that's a wellness planner. That's what this one was. This was a wellness planner. There's a mini undated wellness planner. You didn't want the extension disc to combine them but still keep separate. Um... I try, let me come back here because I feel like I'm not, I'm not talking to you anymore. I try that. Um, my problem is I get stuck in one or two sections and I never go to another section. So if I know that I'm doing budgeting, I'm only doing that once a week. So that can be in its own planner and I don't feel like I'm missing out on doing something. The goal planning, I do that once a month and then I track it once a week to see how it's going. Um, I just was not consistent enough in August or September and I felt bad about it, right? I felt bad like, oh, you're not really doing this. You're just wasting. And so I wanted to take advantage of what was working and then set a match to the rest. Um, so that's, that's my point of view on it. And there is no right or wrong way to plan, guys. I think the wrong way is to buy all this stuff and not use it and to not do anything with it. I like the first one. It gets supplied. It's easy to... Okay, so this one is considered... Now, I told you that this one is considered a classic size. You know the size because of the number of rings on it. This one is considered a big... And the reason it's considered a big is because it's bigger. It's like an eight and a half by 11. I'll show you the comparison for size. Some people like to carry their planners in their bag. So the classic one doesn't take up as much space. However, I need it to be functional. And functional for me means I need to be able to put all of my appointments, everything that's due for Nyla, everything that's due for Paige, what I'm doing or when I'm doing the budgeting, the goal setting, and I couldn't fit that on these smaller sheets, right? Um, Tanisha says, I will combine my daily work and notebook into a transformer and have my faith planner separate on the side. Yeah, see, there's faith planners. There's reading planners. Like, what are you reading this month? I understand having the faith attached didn't work for me. Yep, and at the back of this, I have a notes section. so that I don't have 50 million notebooks going around. Let me get to where I don't actually have notes in there. Yeah, I'll bring you over. See, so at the back, so after my December section, there's another um, separator right here. And this is a dashboard where I can write on it if I want to. And then, for all of the meetings that I have throughout the month, 
I'll fill these out. And now what I'll do is I will transform all of those notes and put them into a separate one so that all of the October stuff is now somewhere else. So we have this one. Um, and then I also have like, there's different inserts that you can buy. This one is this week's goals. So if I'm really focused on my goals that week, I can put that in here. So it's like a fold out page where it's don't forget. Um, and then you can bullet point what those goals are. Then they have like different sayings. This one says slay today. I think that is so cute. Um, top five priorities. Um, where did you get this planner? Um, Camila, I did, every planner I got either came from Joann's or Michael's. And then I transformed it and put it into this tool notebook. So what I like, this was on sale, God. Let, well, let, me, let me say this with a straight phrase because I do not want you saying Zakia told you to go get. This is a, a charging cover right here. So this, I can put my cell phone on it and it will charge. As long as you have a wireless um, charging phone, this will charge your cell phone. So it's a tool cover. So I replaced the cover for that one. Um, and this was the Bloom with Grace Happy Planner. Originally, that's what this one was. It's this cover. And this was an 18 month planner. My next purchase is the big, I love the big, I really do. Um, I don't necessarily, I mean, we're all supposed to be home. I'm just saying, darn it. We're all supposed to be home. What? That's, I'm telling you, Cookie. Okay, I love it. I'm new, I'm new too. I am not a guru. I just love sharing when something works. Um, and I get excited about it. And it helps me to stick with it when I share it on a live stream. It's like, well, you just told everybody that you love planning. When you gonna plan? All that stuff. Have you seen the new Happy Planner African American covers? I have not. Tanisha the only thing I have gotten there are sticker books there's always a sticker where's my stickers <laughs> where'd they go oh come on come on at one one day we'll do a let's go through our sticker books now but I don't know where they are. They usually are right there. Oh, here they go. Um, it's the Capital Designs. I think they're out of DC. And they have, look at these. Hold on. Marlene, clutch your pearls. Clutch your pearls. Hold on. Let me show you this. You can decorate your stickers. I mean, your plan. Look at that. And my problem is I buy all this stuff and then I don't want to use it because I know I won't have it anymore. It's like soap. I'm telling you, it's just like soap. But I don't want to use it. It's just too pretty. But this one comes in this color. I'm a crafter and I have a ton of stickers. I have those, love those. Tanisha says she has these. So it comes in this color. There's also a blue design pack for it too. And it comes in green blue with the gold foil look at that one hold it on okay and that's what makes it intriguing that you want to come back to it and continue to plan in them because it's something that you've created and you've designed right and then this one is gold everybody loves black and gold right so it's like that and then the women that are in it Right there, so you can decorate the top. So maybe we will do black and gold for November because that's what we're supposed to be doing. But to answer the question, this is the big planner that I got. It was an 18, I, it does come in purple, but I was at my, I was at my limit. <clears throat> I couldn't buy anymore. I, I have a limit when I go to these stores. I, I can't buy any more sticker stuff, at least until 2022, if I'm being honest. Um, so this was the one that I got. It's an 18 month planner. Typically the 18 month planners only come out, um, in the summertime, like in July. So right now, if you go, you'll get a deep discount because they go from July of the current year 
see you big duke it was so good to see you sunday is meal prep day um i'm so happy you were able to stop by i won't keep i won't stay away so long but very good to see you um so you would get from july of the current year to december of the next year making it 18 months in september in october they start coming out with the new designs for the new year which are um 12 months so you'll get ones that start for january 2021 through december 2021 but the prices are the same so in my mind i might as well get 18 months and then i get an extra six months and i don't want to be that committed to anything for that long so yeah the 18 month works for me um and then i can just swap it out with the various books in terms of the franken planning the way that works and the reason why this is a problem is you then purchase other planners okay you purchase other planners to create the various sections of your life that you need to plan for right let's let's just say it with me this is a non-judgment zone i feel like i need to say that out loud before i pick up what i have on my lap this is a non-judgment zone. You come here to love on one another, get inspiration, motivation, and know that there is no right or wrong way to do anything. It's just the way you do it as you're figuring it out. Now, now that we've gotten that out of the way, when you, I'm going to put you here. Let's open her. Bam. Can you, oh, you can't see. All right, so uh, come here. All right, we'll come here. So with a uh, Franken planner, and you get these when they're on sale, guys. You never pay full price. Good morning, Erica. Um, so this one here is an 18-month happy planner. And as you can see, it has a red sticker on there. Planners love red stickers because you know what that means? It was 40% off at Joann's, the price that is here. So even though this says $19.97, I probably paid about $11. Where we can link up all the planners. I think we have to. Um, so this one was the Celebrate Happy Planner. And the beauty of planners is they're colorful right so this one says there's so much to celebrate throw confetti pop champagne and toast to a new day right and then there's like this so this one is somebody who really loves colorful designs and all of that a lot of people i am still planning erica i am um what is this oh and this is when i had first started trying to figure out how am i going to decorate and see i started putting like little stickers in there um, and I was trying to track Bible, reading my Bible every morning and drinking my water every day. Um, and then I have like little affirmations. This one says, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And then pray, hustle, repeat is at the bottom. This one says, pray without ceasing. And this one says, love yourself. And then I had a hair appointment and then back to school. Um, though she be but little, she is fierce is what that one says. So this one is another layer. Oh, this one I was I was really planning. This was September. All right, let's come to an empty one where I stopped. All right. So this is another style, Marlene. So the idea with Franken planning is to figure out how do you enjoy planning. This might have been a teacher way. Um, how do you enjoy planning? Do you are you a list person? Um, do you need the space? I really, I think when I brought these, it was initially for these rings. The beauty of Franken or um, Happy Planners is this disc system because you can just rip the pages out and put them together to create your own new book. And there's something, it's like therapeutic hearing that sound. So, and then each month has a different cover on the inside. So this is one of them. Another one I got is 
Start today with a grateful heart. Another one, 100% on sale, 40% off. So I may have paid about $11 for this one as well. And the beauty of this, um, I think it was looking, this is how they get me, these covers or these things that are on the inside. Um, at the end of each month, they do have things for you to do or write in. So it's just a matter of you deciding. Yep, and here's, here's the layout for this one. So there's just a lot more space in here for what you want to do. And there's one more. This one actually has soap recipes in there. Um, let's go here. Yeah, so this was the wellness planner that we are now using as part of the Franken planner, kind of Franken planning in our main planner. So this is the only one that we are using out of the ones that we have purchased because I started finding myself um, overwhelmed trying to go to the different sections and that's how we're now using the books um, or the specific planners for those sections. So if your shopping cart isn't already full, hmm, add a big planner and hopefully that helps or I'm an enabler. I'm an enabler around these parts. So what we want to do is go to November. Let me see. Do, 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 do. And I need to find my boxes because we're going to create four sections. I'm sorry, I wrote it wrong. It's email, social media, articles and blogs, and then video and audio. That's how I'm going to plan the content. So let's find the stickers that we need. And it's best to do this before the month starts. You don't want to be planning on the first of the month for the first of the month. Where's our boxes? It might be in my book bag. This is, and this is the time, this is why you don't get a million and one sticker book. This isn't the one I want. It must be in my backpack. But we'll use this just for time's sake. All right. Let's bring you over. And let's get to November. And I said, I'm going by what's on here. And that was email, social, articles, blogs audio and video and audio video means podcasting or live streaming or doing a pre-recorded video for youtube any of the platforms right any of them all right so let's start with this week girl my mouth is watering looking at oh don't do it i'm talking this was the worst thing i could have done it was it's too much it's it's team too much i got going on um so I'm going to try and find, I normally have little box stickers, but I don't see them over here, which means they're in a book bag. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab them. Look at our painted chair. I'll be right back, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. All that fun stuff. No, they're not in the book bag. This book bag is empty. Hmm. My bag is empty. Okay, we'll pretend. Boxes, boxes, where are you? Colorful boxes, bam, here they are. Okay, so these are the ones I like for renaming these sections, right? So I work Monday through Friday, typically Saturdays and Sundays are off. Thank you, Erica. And so we need to find a new sticker so that we can rename these boxes. So, and I found that writing it first and then putting it on instead of sticking it and then trying to write it works better for me. So I'm gonna write email. And that has to do with newsletters and sequences. So there's our email box. So what email are we sending out Monday through Friday? 
The next one is social media. Notice how that has all of the color and is the biggest box. So we're gonna go ahead and say social media. Right here. The next one that we're going to do is articles and blogs. So what are we putting on the Live Soap School website? What are we putting on Natural Soap by Zakia? What are we putting on Virtual Experience Design? Oh, and I, I'm breaking my rule right here. And I'm just gonna say articles, blog. And then the last one where it says take note, the most important category of them all for me in particular happens to be video and audio. I am a live streamer through and through, and those videos need to get com converted into podcasts for my podcast and my app. So as you can see, we now have the sections that make it possible for us to plan. We'll then go to the layered boxes, which is this one here. And I wanna figure out what is my theme for the week. Now, this isn't color coded, guys. So if you are somebody who where it has to match, this is probably gonna burn the bejesus out of your eyes because mine never matches. It's more important for me to get it on here than to worry about if it's color coded. When I go to post something on Instagram as a planner aficionado, then I'll make it look pretty. But functionally, I just need a theme for the week. So I'm going to go, that's kind of the wrong way. And I'm just going to put that right in there. And then I put whatever my theme is. And then for each day, um, what do you stream on YouTube? All of this content, everything that I put here goes on YouTube as well. Hey, it's Cookie. I, um, oh, you guys can't see me. Um, I typically will multi-stream. So right now we are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and Amazon Live. So all of them we are live on. Um, primarily it's soap making, but because I now do the virtual conferences, I've started doing a little bit more on LinkedIn in terms of how to join a live conference. YouTube is Zakia Ringgold as well. Zakia Ringgold, Zakia. Here, let me add, do I have an overlay? I don't think I do. And if any of you want to join me live, you can. I can bring you on camera. Bam. But that's my YouTube right there. Oh, wow. I didn't know they have Amazon Live. Yes, I am. Well, I just found out. Um, they approved me and I started live streaming on there. But I'm Zakia Ringgold everywhere except Instagram because I have two brands on there. Natural Soap by Zakia and Live Soap School. But that's my YouTube. So please subscribe, that would be very cool. So I would put the theme for this here. Haven't figured out what the theme will be, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, additionally, for the month of November, that's where you can decorate your pages. And I'm gonna go with whatever. Oh, I'm not gonna go with those, don't like them. So I'm gonna grab the motivational stickers. And I used to have a floral. You spend more time going through trying to find what you want. All right, so let's find something here. Um, there's a dream big. Here are some thoughts. I'm gonna grab this one. And the interesting thing is I'm using this particular planner and this is the the digital detox planner. <laughs> so this is supposed to be everything but technology and I use this one for the technology planning. Um, 
there has to be um, at the bottom I typically like to put like some kind of motivational mantra down here so I'll put get it done on one side and then Everybody needs a little bit of inspiration, so. Oh, I like this one here. This one says, you are your only limit. And we'll put that right here. Bam. So we put that one there. And so then every day that I look at this, and that's your bit, right? And that's your business. If you want to do it that way, you do it that way, ma'am. Um. So this one is, you are capable of amazing things. So I am just going to put this here. And there's two reasons why I'm doing it in this particular spot. That is the holiday. And as a small business owner, sometimes we are tempted to just keep going and going and going and going. I don't want to do that. And so if I have this here, I can't try and sneak and put something on there. It doesn't mean that I won't actually do something. But here is on here, so I won't have the ability, in theory, to do anything. And daylight savings time ends today. Did you got? Did the clocks? What brand are those stickers? I need those. So these, um, these were the store brand because they were on sale for four dollars. I'm always looking for a sale. And this is called the Craft Smart brand um, that's available at Michaels. So when I saw the the Happy Planner ones, if you don't get them on sale, always get them on sale. Number one. But if you don't get them on sale, they are nineteen dollars. In the big ones, there's one that I want, which is the seasons. Like these double pack ones, they're like thirty nine ninety nine. So when I saw I could get some planner stickers for $4, I got every pack that they had. But these are called the Craft Smart stickers. Craft Smart. And so I'm just going to put something here. I think we are going to be doing a bath bomb for Super Soap Sunday. So I'm just going to put bath bombs in there. And what? I think we're going to start the icon collection on the 8th. Think, oh, you're welcome. And I keep going from one to the other. This is what you don't do. You just pick one book. Stick to that book. Get busy. This one is going to be websites. And we're going to come back. And these stickers came in one of the books. This one here. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Um, these came inside one of the books that I got. They were like a a filler that you could use. And I'm gonna use those boxes. And this is where you spend all your time. Like, I don't want that sticker. I don't want that sticker. I'm, I've been loving this book. I'm going to call this one. No. Viewer's choice, maybe. Do not forget to subscribe. And thank you so much. Let me put it up here because I forgot to say it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Um, I don't 
I don't really know where my book is. Normally you would have a plan before you start sticking them in there. Uh, one that I do like is the Stargazer one. Have any of you seen the Stargazer? Um, Tanisha, I cut your name off. There she is. Um, the Stargazer sticker book. Um, I typically use this in my main planner. But it has like different sayings. Always look on the bright side of things. The world needs who you were meant to be. And suddenly you know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. I love that one. Already done. Subbed on YouTube and look at you. Cookie, welcome. You, ha you are now an official member of Hashtag Soap Nation. Um, and here, just because sometimes you get to the middle of the month, I have two conferences that are going on, the 4th and the 14th. So I am going to make sure on the 16th, I remind myself to keep going right there. Because hindsight is twenty twenty, and normally I am exhausted after that. Um, but yeah, they have like different, yeah, let's do that. We will, let's decorate this part. Oh, shoot. Bam. Mm. That one's stuck. And I'm just going to put like different stars. You are so, I am not. My 2020 is a, oh, Tanisha, you have got to do a, um, a, a video on that, please. I'm trying to be organized, um, Dr. Tachi. I, I am new to this planner thing, but I kind of like it because it kind of gives me a creative outlet to plan the craziness that I've agreed to do for the month. Great inspirational planners. Without a plan, we may fail. Keep it going, sister. Thanks, Burn Moore. Now, here's what I'm going to say to all my other fellow. I kind of sort of want to do it, but I don't really have time for that kind of people. You don't need all the things. I am overkill. A leaf, welcome back. Never heard of these stickers. Love them. Yay. Um you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm putting little stars to kind of embellish. The reason I'm doing that is it becomes something to look at. And I want to come here and plan because I've made it so pretty, right? What was the double stack sticker book? Okay, so this probably is going to turn into a sticker book. I have three double stack stickers. This one is called Greatest Hits. And they brought back several of the stickers that people absolutely positively loved. Um, only buy them on sale. Don't go to the Happy Planner website to buy them. You will pay full price and unless they have like a 10% off coupon. Michaels typically puts the Happy Planner stuff and stickers on sale at 20%, 30%, and 40% off. Um, it was a mess, hardly used, but I will use the sheets in 2020. I know that's right. So this um, is one of them. This is called the Greatest Hits one. And you can kind of go through, and it just has really positive affirmations. Life is better when you're laughing. Isn't that true? The best day. Um, that's why a lot of people kind of like uh, neutral planners, because then you can make the colors do what it do, like whatever color you want. Then it has like to-do, weekend plans. Um, this one says, dream, be happy, treat yourself, um, give much, be brave, faithful. I like this one. Let's do this one for the 21st. That's how I'm going to celebrate doing my conferences. I'm gonna put, uh, no, I'm not a space. Um... So you have, so it's just different and I'm just going to do a flip. So if you are tracking your, um, your fitness, your meal planning, all of that, it has like water, eat clean, goal, lift, weight lifting, sneakers for running. How did you do, um, with the different emojis, errands to run, make it happen, all of that stuff. Hello world for you too. Um, such an amazing weekend kind of stuff. Be so good they can't ignore you. 
what's your master plan so all of that is in there for you i never really thought about decorating my planner now i definitely will oh i never did either cookie i never did i stumbled that's how i fell into soap making too video that's why i think it's so important let me come here i think it's so important for you to share what it is that you do i mean you don't have to get all personal like i i'm a downtrodden alcohol not that kind of share what it is that you do but you never know who you can inspire right so i found soap making from a video where i was just watching somebody pour and i could not look away same thing with planning i was looking for a planner and then i went a little further in the aisle and i saw all these stickers and there was a lady in there and i said what are all these stickers for she was like oh you can turn the planner into whatever you want so i went to youtube university and looked up happy planner and when i looked it up it was like spreads there's like a whole planner nation on instagram if you're looking for like decorating your planner and all of that this definitely isn't the channel it's just i put stickers in various places um that makes it interesting for me to come back to and look at it um, but if you're looking for like how can i put a whole theme on my calendar how can i decorate the dashboard or the vertical do a search on um instagram for i think it's happy planner or spreads and it inspires you to plan more by decorating it like yeah so what do i be doing on sunday or saturday or monday or tuesday or I've worked so much, when am I taking the me time that I said was so important for self-care? So you get a chance to see that because we get so busy with life and everything that we have, like all the to-dos, and then we don't do what's most important. Or we keep it up here and then it always feels overwhelming. So at least getting it out on paper, on a plan, that's pretty with some stickers is a way to overcome that so you've seen a little bit of what i do in terms of trying to figure out this planner situation i hope that well i don't even have to hope because cookie told me she's inspired i hope that you have been inspired or motivated um or you've at least thought about what you're going to do today um one thing that i'm trying to do more of and get back into the habit of is gratitude and one thing i am grateful for today is all of you being on here for this very long broadcast but also the fact that we have the technology to be able to share these things so i'm going to give all of you a round of applause <laughs> for being here greatest hits going to michael's tomorrow i want to try your soap what is my talent yes that's a great question that's a good journal prompt that is a great journal prompt for you if you are trying to figure out what is my talent what and i would say start by thinking about what would you do if nobody ever paid you and you would do it all day long start there or what is it that people say or they people constantly come to you with advice for do you give out relationship advice i cannot get this pen top oh there we go if you give out um relationship advice maybe maybe that's your talent but thanks everybody for joining me and i will see you all later on where we will be making bath bombs because it's on the planner bye everybody